this is our fifth grade band. We have a year of playing our instruments under our belts. And some of us have grown a lot. <laughs> I don't know how they did that. <laughs> We have some faculty members with us, and these faculty members are not ringers. You know what a ringer is? A ringer is a professional you call in to make your band look good. These are faculty members who uh, show interest in either picking up their instrument again after not having played it since they were in grade school, or they haven't played at all. Miss Foley on the end started with this band last year, and she has moved on with that. Congratulations, Miss Foley. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Weissman and Mr. Jones uh, played earlier in their youth, and they have come back to start again. And it's fantastic. I love it. Uh, Mr. Jones asked me for a fingering the other day, and I said, well, why don't you ask some of your, uh, your classmates there? <laughs> and they all helped. They all swarmed right around them. We couldn't see Mr. Jones. Um, and they knew the fingering, too. So I love having the faculty in with us. Uh, we're going to perform Wade in the Water, which is a traditional spiritual. Um, it relates to, it's from the Bible, uh, relates to the Old and New Testaments, uh, the verses uh, regarding the Israelites' escape from Egypt, and the chorus refers to healing waters. It's also, uh, this song was used in the Underground Railroad, and when the song was sung, the slaves who were trying to escape, uh, they were, this was their signal to take to the water because they were being hunted down and if they went in the water the dogs could not smell their tracks so this is what they sang in order to help them escape so here we have uh wade in the water and we are concentrating on speaking in musical sentences just like you speak in sentences there are beginnings and endings and it's really important where you breathe and how you articulate to perform these sentences so here we have Wade in the Water.
instruments in the band are scored to sound like bells, with special emphasis on skills used to play the pitched instruments in percussion. It also means strong beginnings of notes and tapered endings in the wind instruments, a skill that requires embouchure strength, breath control in the woodwinds and the brass, and precision strikes on the percussion. With this composition, we aim to reenact a time when bells were the main means of communication. They were rung when it was time to get up in the morning, when the workday started, when it ended, when it was time for a midday rest. They were also rung when there was an emergency or when there was something really great to celebrate. And when they were celebrating, one bell would start ringing and then all the bells in the town started ringing. And when the next town over heard all those bells ringing, they would start ringing theirs. And it was contagious and pretty soon the whole valley would be ringing with bells. So here we have bells. 